Hello Akron fans, and welcome to this exhibition match between Electro and Chris Haworth. This is a match on Island, a map that we've seen a couple times recently, but not too often. Smaller map. Each player has a main base with 6 LC and 3 QP, although 1 LC crate is inside of the box. And there are expansions spaced evenly around the map. So Electro is going for CISO, while Chris Haworth is going for Vekir. Both players have chosen their race and just setting up their economy right now, very quickly. And once that's done, we will have our game going. Chris is starting out with 5 LCRPs, he hasn't built any 6th RP, may not have finished that up. You can only queue 6 actions, but only 5 while pause, so you often see players queue up the first 5 RPs and then they have to queue up the next RP afterwards. But Chris has not queued up a 6th RP, so he is... Ah, I see, he is getting another Zion Veer. So attaching all this veer together to the Shin veer and sending them forward a bit. Not sure if he's... Yo, he's, he's, he is going for an attack. So he's, he is attacking Electro very early on. Electro, on the other hand, has just built his early RPs. He has Marine at the base. Another one Marine going to the Northwest expansion to very quickly get more resources. And the Special Ops going towards Chris. And the Special Ops will encounter the veer class units. So Electro is well aware there are veer class units coming to get him. The Zion veer doing a tremendous job destroying that Special Ops. And... Now Electro, as you can see by the chat, Electro is definitely in a panic state. He does not know what's going on exactly. <laughs> hey, he doesn't know what's going on exactly. No, it's not that they start with more, it's that Chris built another. <laughs> Electro is probably figuring out right now that Chris is actually planning on going for a rush. Electro at the 225 mark sees the rush hit while Chris is about a minute down from here. And Electro just jumped back about two minutes. Looks like he's probably setting himself up to try to prepare for this rush because now he has to deal with this very quickly. Does not have a whole lot of time. He can build an importer right now, though, instead of one of these RPs. And from there, he'll be able to get some infantry, get special ops and such. But he has chosen instead to build RPs. He doesn't have a factory up. He does not have a factory up in time to actually stop this. And he won't have a factory up in time to stop this either. So Chris is in a great spot right now. Chris's, Chris's rush is going to be very effective. Because Electro is not changing up a strategy at all. He is not going for fast infantry to try to stop this. Because if he gets a couple special ops of his own, that should be able to get rid of the Veer class units quite quickly. But right now, Electro is going purely for importers, going for a standard strategy that, in this case, is a bad idea given that standard strategies are built a bit more around economy, about defending that early economy and building up from there. And right now, Electro is not in a spot where he can actually effectively build up said economy. However, Chris has not actually started building up anything beyond those Veer class units. He has 180 LC in the bank. He is building a foundation right next to Electro's base, though. And Electro's gonna have to deal with this. Electro getting a factory about 30 seconds before the attack hits, where the Veer class units hit, but that won't be nearly enough time. The Veers will be able to get there well in time to actually build this foundation and start attacking. So Electro's about half a minute down from here, and Chris doesn't look like he's changing around the way his strategy is set up, so Electro is going to be in a very tight spot right now. And the infantry, he has built some more infantry. His Marine is still up to the north, or... Yes, he has built another special ops. Fending off another Zion Veer and now taking care of the trying to take care of the Test Veer, but oh no, sorry not the Zion Veer, that was the Shin Veer. They managed to kill the Shin Veer, so that's good. That means no more foundations will be built, except for that foundation itself, which can build additional foundations. However, second time around it looks like Electro Well, it looks like Electro managed to get rid of everything but the Shin Veer, but the Shin Veer is not actually building a foundation. Not sure if Chris was planning on going for the Foundation Rush. No, he is! He is, in fact, going for the Foundation Rush. And an ATC has been built. But this Foundation can still... Actually, can't do anything right now. There's Auto Defense is not upgraded yet. So the Foundation is not totally useful. Electro may actually be able to defend this, but he's still in a tight spot. He still has to defend this. If he manages to defend this, then Chris is going to be behind. And Electro is going to actually have an advantage. We'll be able to counterattack and take advantage of the situation. He does have some RPs being built in the Northwest Expansion. And he does have the infantry and the ATC in his main base to help defend, help push away the Veers. But Chris has decided to get auto defense much earlier than before and is now retreating slightly. He is not going to engage directly. He is going to keep himself a bit behind. This is right next to the Implayable Pass too. So this looks like what Chris is ultimately committing to. He's not going to be building the foundations right next to the base. He's going to be getting his Veer, veer units together. At least not quite yet. He's going to be getting them together. I'm not sure if he's... Looks like he is, in fact, going foundations right at the middle of the map rather than going for them right in front of Electro's base. So Electro has pushed back the attack a little bit, managed to buy some time to build some defenses, but he only has an ATHC coming. 
And while that will be useful, it's not enough. And no, wait, a foundation is being built in the middle of the map, or middle of Chris's base. Sorry, Chris is building a foundation in the middle of Electro's base, and Electro's gonna have to deal with this. I don't think he's gonna be able to. The amount of foundations being built, another foundation being built off the first foundation, and of course the foundations having auto defense will be able to deal with damage along with healing, so these units are pretty much indestructible. Chris, I don't see how he could possibly lose. Electro is... I, I can't see any way out of this for Electro, honestly. He doesn't have machinery, he doesn't have any units to get out of this. He doesn't have any factories. Surprisingly enough, he doesn't have any factories built outside of this area. He has tons of LC, but he doesn't have any... Oh, he has no CE or very little chrono energy left. But even with two orders, he could build another couple factories and use those just to build... Well, even then, I'm not sure, honestly. The amount of units he'd have to build... I can't see him being able to get out of this. Honestly, I think this is... This is a mistake early on. He really needed to have built the infantry earlier on. Not go for the fast RPs. Go for two or three RPs and go for a couple importers. The infantry is all he really could have used to defend in time. And he does not have the time anymore to defend. Going for a mech, but that's going to be useless. The mechs are primarily anti-air. They have very weak anti-ground weapons. So I don't think Electro has any way out of this at this point. He really needs to have picked the right option well beforehand. I'm not sure this bus, he hasn't started building more infantry anyway. So, that's pretty much the game. I think Chris, is, Chris has this in the bag. Electro has no way out of this. His base is being destroyed quite handily. Well, from Chris's point of view, it's going to be destroyed a minute from when we were looking. So, about the five minute mark. About 352 mark now. And that was a short game. Certainly a Demonstration of the power of rushes if one does not defend properly, and also the reason why you can't always go for a 6 RP start, especially on a small map like Island is 256 by 256, and the bases are across from each other by the diagonal, and Electro has surrendered. So that was the game, that was rather short, but good demonstration of the power of Foundation Rush. Too bad there was no effective counter to, to it, though. Hopefully we'll see a game pretty soon with an effective counter to this rush. I have actually encountered the rush myself as Vekir, but in that case, I was playing on Village, so I had a bit more time, because as Diagonal starts, though it's the same size of map. And I also scattered out the foundations much earlier on, and I built up some vehicles to help deal with this built some design pulsers. But even that was a close game. Anyway, hopefully we will see players on here managing to figure out a counter strategy to this, because it's not impossible, but it just requires thinking on one's toes. So anyway, hopefully Electro figures that out too, and once we see that, that will be quite entertaining. So I hope you enjoyed that, and have a good night.